Well, hey, hey there, Thomas Kissinger coming to you today. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, I'm in an old house here that uh, they're going to be renovating and fixing up. We replaced the windows in the house. You know, I own my own uh, replacement window company. Let you see some of the windows. Let's see what we got on our plate here. So much sun coming through there, hard to see. We've got some up and down windows. We've got some windows that go side by side. Let me get a better look at that. There you go. That's a slider. But anyway, I just thought I'd try to capture a video right quick. You know, it's kind of like what God's doing with us, you know, and uh, he takes something old and he makes it new. And really, the way that he does that is that we go from the old man to the new man. There's really only two men as far as God is concerned. The old man and the new man, or Adam and Christ. And that is what God is doing with us as individuals, and that is what God is doing with all mankind, the human race. As individuals... He's bringing us from the old man to the new man. And the way that that happens is we place our faith in Jesus Christ and Him crucified and risen from the dead. You become a new creature, a new creation in Christ. And then when that initially happens, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you have what's called a Passover experience. And then you're moved on to... Sanctification, where you absorb the Lord and you become absorbed into the Lord and He writes His law, His character and nature on your heart. And then you ultimately go to a place of glorification, the redemption of your body. And for some that will happen at the first resurrection and for others that will happen at the second general resurrection. But it will happen for all. And Jesus is the guarantee. He said, if a corn of wheat abides alone, it will not bring forth any fruit. But if it dies, it will bring forth much fruit. And so... Jesus is that corn of wheat that fell to the earth, that died and rose from the dead. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And that's what he's doing. Is he drawing you today? Is he drawing you as an individual? Because if he is, this is the process you're going to go through. Spirit, soul and body. Justification, sanctification, and glorification. Passover, Pentecost, and tabernacles. And yes, He is drawing the human race, all mankind as a whole. There's three main harvests in which He's bringing all men unto Himself. The barley harvest, which is the overcomers. The wheat harvest, which is the church in general. And the grape harvest, which is the unbelievers. He must reign until He has put all enemies under His feet. You know, when you read the Scriptures and see what it really says, Jesus Christ is not even going to really reign forever. He's going to reign until He has put all enemies under His feet. And the sons and daughters of God are going to rule and reign with Him in the ages to come and play a part in this. You see, ruling and reigning is to squash rebellion and unbelief and disobedience. But once all that is taken care of and all that is done away with, then God will be all in all, everything to everyone. So let God do that work in your heart today. If you've already believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, well, you've gone through Passover. You've been justified. But let Him do that work of sanctification where He brings you through that feast of Pentecost, the baptism with the Holy Spirit, and then where He writes His law, which is His character and nature on your heart, where He removes and takes away your iniquity your lawlessness. And then press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, which is the better resurrection, the first resurrection, the out-resurrection, 
the resurrection of the just. And then let God show you his plan in which he has designed a magnificent plan in which he will draw all mankind unto himself in three main harvests. And remember, Paul outlines this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The anointed first fruits, then those that are Christ at his coming, then enemies or unbelievers. What a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the death of the old man and we're ushered into the new creation man. Just like this house is being totally redone. That's what God is doing. But this redoing in God, it's not a makeover of the old man. It's the death of the old man and we enter into Christ. Whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. Let God do the work. And let Him show you of His great plan. Many Christians think the plan of God is, is that He's going to save a few little old bitty people and then He's going to torture untold billions forever and ever in a place that they call hell. But when the Bible is properly translated and you look up the Hebrew and the Greek and you get revelation from God and you understand His character and nature and who He is and you see His plan, the golden thread, the golden thread of the love and the power of God that's all through Scripture that says He is the Savior of the world. He swore that every knee would bow to Him and every tongue would confess. And then Paul brought that over into the New Covenant and he told us it was going to be because of and in and through the Lord Jesus Christ. Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And you cannot even say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Spirit. That means when they say that, they're going to have a Passover experience. And that proves that God can deal with people beyond physical death. Because beyond physical death, people are going to confess the name of Jesus Christ. And they can go through judgment and they can go through correction because Jesus died for them on Calvary and purchased them. He is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sin of the world. The Lord has bought us. Don't let your conscience be seared with a hot iron like Paul said to think that God is some type of monster to take untold billions and torture them in a hell forever. That message is another gospel, another spirit. It's not the truth. Study to show yourself approved and you will see this grand and glorious plan. The old man to the new man, from Adam to Christ. In Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive, each man in his own order. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, because you first loved us. His love will not fail one person who has ever lived or will live. He will not lose anything. Nothing. He's the reconciler, the Savior, the deliverer of all. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Isn't that what John said? We have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Believe it. 